I've been waiting on this. All of this disorder, no address in the crowd. What is good, YouTube? My name is George. This right here is the Chelsea Pier 62 skate park. It's pretty hard for me to admit this as a New Yorker, but it is my first time ever being here. I definitely got the new skate park heebie jeebies right now. Also, if you are in the Helmet Gang or if you support the Helmet Gang movement, make sure you follow my new page on Instagram at Helmet Clips where I'm reposting all your trendy edits in helmets. Okay, let's wait this right now. It stopped raining, but we came back. The park was locked because they closed it when it gets too wet. The guy just pulled up. Hopefully, he's about to unlock the park again. We good to go? Thank you. Sorry to keep you running over here. <laughs> oh, now we really have the whole park. Definitely helps the new skate park heebie-jeebies when you got the whole park to yourself. We're gonna get right into this. I see this little side section is like the street section and this middle section is the, oh my God, I'm too scared to skate this section. So let's get it. This part really gets you going, jeez. You really gotta send it for this Euro guy. Everything is super big. How do I get warmed up to this? Woo, that was so close. Even for this wall ride, I had to go super fast and the landing right there was a little intense. Definitely the most intense New York park in terms of like speed, impact, scariness, that sort of thing. It takes a little getting used to. So this is like the pool style bowl here at Chelsea and I'm sitting on the big end right now and I'm even scared just sitting here. This thing is freaking huge. Hey Sarah. Is that scary? That side, not so bad. I can at least drop in. Definitely want to hop in this thing before it rains again. I'm gonna get a mean carve. So I've been cruising this section, but actually this pocket right here has some vert. I'll show you the difference. Here when you're standing up to drop in, you can see these blue tiles. But then come over here, and all of a sudden you can't see those tiles, which means it's completely vertical. This may be my biggest drop in ever, so we'll try not to die. Don't think about it. You got it. You got it. Just don't think about it. You already showed your board how to do it. You were carving to the top of it before. Don't hesitate, just do it. Send it, George. scary. It feels like right when you drop in, like you're not touching anything. As a primarily street skateboarder, I have to say, trying the bowl once in a while is so exhilarating and so freaking fun. I'm not very good at it, but pretty satisfied with those carves on the big end and that drop-in. I know for some of you guys watching, probably younger than me, that drop-in would be nothing. I'm proud. Try something new today. It's coming, coming, coming. Yeah. yeah, Sarah. Can you tell the people what your roller skates are called? These are Moxie roller skates, and they're amazing. Nice. I'm trying to think of a thumbnail. This could look pretty cool. Yeah. Whoa. Look how small George is. He's so little. <laughs> That's cool. There's nothing to <laughs> Whoa. I believe I can fly. Damn. 
Look at that arm strength. Not much of it. That thing is big. <laughs> this is so big. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make a deal that I'm probably gonna regret. If this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll come back and I'll drop in on the huge side. Oh, shit. I'm gonna make a thousand accounts <laughs> and like this video that many times. <laughs> Nice teamwork. I don't recommend multitasking in the deep end of the bowl unless you're a YouTuber <laughs> and you need good content. <laughs> I think I've exhausted my stay in the bowl. I almost died twice off camera, so I'm gonna give it a rest. Also, one thing I've noticed, it is a Sunday morning, so I can't speak for every day of the week, but this skate park is filled with older skaters, younger skaters, families. There's a lesson going on with the little kid, so it's really good family-friendly vibes, which I actually think is awesome. Like, the LES skate park can be a little intense sometimes. You have to be in the right sort of mood, so this one's, it's a very relaxed vibe, and I'm really into it. Okay. Don't hit the camera. It's weird. I'm scared of like hitting my face on the floor. But why would that happen? Honestly, I think you would have to try to do that. That's a wrap for my first session at Chelsea. Let's go debrief. If you're looking for something to do after your session at the Chelsea Skate Park, you can check out the High Line. I met up with my friends. Found a dope picture taking spot. Yeah, Noah took some great pictures. Podcast. Yeah, yeah Noah called <laughs> called my videos a podcast. But I actually now think George should do a podcast in addition to videos. Oh, like this video. George and Noah should do a podcast. Like yeah. A comment below for any additional thoughts. I think you should be a YouTuber. <laughs> I just want to hit you guys with a little pro tip. My total travel time today was actually about two hours in the subway. Read a book in those situations. Lately, I've been reading this book. It's about surfing and philosophy and the how surfing relates to just life in general and it's so cool to just kind of enrich your brain during times where you otherwise would just be listening to music and kind of doing nothing because reading feels productive and I want to read you guys a quote from this book because it's relevant to all my skateboarders out there. Surfers often wonder in completely earnest puzzlement what in the world non-surfers are doing with their time. The surfer feels profoundly fortunate to be in on the secret. It puts into words exactly how I feel about skateboarding. I feel like I and all of you guys watching who ride skateboards are lucky to have found skateboarding. I'll throw a link to this book in the description in case you're interested, but yeah, reading in the subway, quick pro tip that'll make your life a little better. The bottom line about the Pier 62 skate park is you have the big bowl section in the middle, you have the big pool style bowl in the back, and around the side you have the street section. This skate park gets you going fast, every obstacle is pretty gnarly, there's no just simple flat obstacles. This skate park really contrasts with the other New York City skate parks which are more modeled after the street style New York skateboarding like LES and Tribeca they have more ledges and rails while Chelsea is definitely focused on transition and ramps if you're into adrenaline going fast Chelsea will be your A plus skate park in New York City for me I'm more into mellow obstacles I really like working on bowl stuff I think it's so much fun but for that to be the main focus of the park makes it hard to be an A plus park I think I would give it a B and another flaw I find with this skate park is is that there's no kind of just chill skate area. I actually found that basically every section of this skate park was pretty intense, but regardless, it is a great skate park. So yeah, it was a good time. Let me know what you would rate this skate park in the comments down below, and I'll be back there to work on my transition skills. All right, I told him if this video gets a thousand likes, I have to drop it on the deep end. I think I might die. Follow your heart, guys. Arrow Skate Co. Bang, bang. We have new sticker packs. <sighs> Peace. Shred on. Helicopters like mess up the audio. <sighs> I had an amazing.